This is video, yes. Mm -hmm. What's the date? 29th. Okay. You can press start. This is Gail Freeman speaking. I'm doing an impromptu tutorial to a classroom based group on the 29th of November regarding the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners Health Record. First of all, I'd like to bring your attention to how the, the shelving would look in a general practice. And the fact that here we can see orange stickers, pink stickers, blue stickers and green stickers. Now, if we look carefully at what this receptionist is holding, she's actually holding out this file here. Now, this file has come directly from the Royal Australian College's General Practitioners' training area and has been provided to us for the purposes of these tutorials. I'd like you to please note that it's got a blue sticker on it, just as it has a blue sticker on it here, and it's sitting with a whole row of blue stickers. Now, many of you have probably studied in class at length and used the terminal digit filing method that's used in hospitals which looks like this. And with the terminal digit filing method, we've got colours of spines that match terminal numbers. So that will sit amongst the 53 zone. What needs to be understood here is that this file will sit in a blue zone. Okay? A blue zone. So forget what you've learnt in terminal digit filing and focus on the colour. Now, amongst the many leaflets that I've got out here, we've got some colours that the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners tell us they use. And as we can see, four is light blue. Now, what's very interesting about this system is that they've almost got a ruler measurement down the length of the folder. And it's in increments of zero through to nine. And what they tell us on a certain page of their actual manual, which I have now buried and I can't find, here it is, is how we put this sticker on. And they tell us that if the file ends in a 4, it has to have a blue sticker on it. If it ends in a 4. So this file ends in a 4. Whereas if we were in the hospital system, we would be looking at that saying, oh my goodness, that file ends in a 12. We wouldn't be saying it ends in a 2. We look at that as a 12 in the hospital system. Terminal 12. But as far as the Royal Australian College is concerned, that file ends in a 4, so it will have a blue sticker. So the next question is, is why is the blue sticker placed way down here? Well, they have another rule that tells us where to place the sticker. So on this page of the manual, it tells us that the sticker must be placed in the position of the penultimate number. Now, penultimate means the last but one number. So when we come down here and we have a look at the penultimate number, it happens to be a seven. And this is why the blue sticker has been placed in position 7. So if we had a whole heap of files and we had to sort them very quickly, you've got used to sorting files quickly in a hospital system by either looking at spines and grouping the greens together and then the pinks together and then the dark greens together and then sorting within that zone. Well, all you have to do in um, the GP's practice is keep all the blues together because that tells you that they are all going to sit in the blue zone on the shelf. So taking that a step further and imagining the files that are going to be either side of Susan Jones, obviously she's going to have lots of 74 files around her, okay? And then these numbers, which I'll get to in a moment, will also be around her. But what I want to do is cover that up and say, not only will she have 74s around her, but before her, she'll have 64s and 54s. 
and 44s and 34s. After her, she'll have 84s and 94s. Because we get back to my original comment on this page here, whatever the last digit is depends on the colour. And then they're filed on a shelf in those coloured areas. So that's all about the colour and the positioning. So if Susan Jones was um, 44, this blue marker would be much further up here. Okay, now the next problem is that when you're a trainee, you don't know whether to read that number as 101974 or read that number as 479101. So what do we do? Well, let's go inside the file that the RACGP have sent us and see how the number appears horizontally. So the number appears horizontally as 101974. That is actually the patient's reference number and file number. Okay, so if you were typing it in a letter, Susan Jones's file is 101974. It is not 479101. So you must get into the habit of reading the patient's front of file from bottom to top. Now, Susan Jones may have many members in her family and the whole purpose of this filing system is to group family members together. So if Susan Jones decides to have a baby and presents the baby to the practice and maybe the baby is called Alan, then a new file would be set up for Alan Jones and he would have exactly the same file number, 01974. So they will sit beside one another on the shelf as a family group. And his number would be preceded by a two because he's the second member of the family to have attended the practice. Now, if she goes on and has a third baby, a little girl called Joanne, Joanne will have the same family number and she'll have her own reference number as number three. The RACGP have sent us stationery that's as crude as this that indicates that you should read the folder from bottom to top. But in all correspondence, in all documentation, when writing down the folder number, you must read the folder as it is displayed inside. 101974. And you must get used to their coloured stickers and understanding the ranges. I think that ends the impromptu demonstration.